I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Baltimore County released body worn camera footage of a police shooting. A man was shot on Hurley Avenue in Southwest Baltimore following a chase March the 17th. Uh, earlier, police say that the suspect pointed a gun at a man in the Catonsville area. Here's part of that 911 call. I went outside to go to my car. The guy jumped out of his truck with a gun. Do I need to say anything else? Okay, who is this person, sir? I don't know. He jumped out. It, it was coming at you, sir? Yeah. All right, officers say when the suspect was found on Hurley Avenue, he raised his gun at people walking nearby. They say an officer fired five shots at the suspect identified as Samuel Arnold hitting him. Arnold has been arrested and is now facing assault charges as well as weapons violations. The truck driver charged with hitting and killing a little boy and a community leader has been acquitted of any wrongdoing. Back in 2019, Carlu Watson was charged with causing a multi-car wreck on Route 24 near Bel Air. That crash killed 70-year-old Trip Johnson and 65-year-old Andrew Klein, president of Klein's Family Markets. Four others were also seriously hurt. Prosecutors had said that Watson was on his phone when he hit everybody. Watson was facing up to 30 years in prison. And we're still looking at unseasonably warm temperatures returning as we head into your Thursday, but that's going to be accompanied by some rain chances. The good news, not expecting it to be overwhelming, but there will be intermittent showers and isolated thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon, with several of them having the potential to be strong to severe. Level one risk exists. Temperatures still climb to the 80s across most of the state. We're talking 85 at the Harbor, 82 in Annapolis, 83 in Easton, 80 degrees in Bel Air and Elkton. And then we're cooling for your Friday as that cold front slides through. Breeze Easy winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. That's going to segue into a pretty quiet, tranquil, and sunny weekend. Temperatures in the upper 70s through Sunday, warming to the 80s by Monday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather, while you're out there on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.